Everyone uh, feels the picture is so bleak. Today, a group of London's tech and digital businesses got together to think of ways of linking up with new markets all around the world and making the most of post-Brexit opportunities. Catherine Carpenter went to meet them. We've come to this tech conference in East London to get a sense of how this industry is feeling about Brexit. It can be a very hard thing to measure, but luckily these two developers from London have invented an artificial intelligence sensor which can gauge the mood of this room. I think the room is feeling kind of positive. So as you can see here, updates in uh, real time and it's currently it's actually on the rise. Perhaps that's because today was partly about networking and seizing opportunity beyond Europe. As long as we, we try and engage with other nations in a way that is different to what it has been in the past, uh, in a more competitive way, in a more open way, in a more um, uh, collaborative way, I think things will change and it, it will work out for the best. As an entrepreneur, sometimes you've just got to kind of innovate in these times. Big companies like Twitter and Airbnb started at perceived downturn, so we kind of feel like we need to just get on with it. But there were universal worries here too, none of them lost on the mayor's new chief digital officer, who's just a few weeks into the job. The first is access to talent, uh, the second is access to markets, uh, and also that data laws don't diverge too far from what the European Union is proposing, so that we can have consistent access uh, and open access to these markets. Yeah. A little bit better than mine, Andrew, I'll give you that. But One of those targeting the tech skills gap, a star who helped inspire a generation of innovators. There is a need for a real concerted effort to look at all of our education system and decide what are we doing this for? How are we preparing young people for the world of tomorrow? Are we really doing it as well as we can? You know, do we need to focus on quite so much formal measuring, perhaps at the expense of talent which becomes disengaged? The tech sector's not alone in trying to answer these big questions, still feeling its way to building a brighter future. Catherine Carpenter, BBC London News. You know, from modern technology to a trade of the past because the goldsmith's company is